as you know, uh, last week on Thursday, having uh, viewed an exhibition then still in process of installation, I was disturbed uh, by a, uh, several works in the exhibition which I uh, was concerned would cause serious offence uh, to segments of our community. Overnight I thought about uh, what I should be doing um, and I came in on, on the Friday and requested that the exhibition be postponed. I was under the impression that it had not yet opened to the public. Detroit Institute of Arts Director Graham Beale Actually, the exhibition had been open to the public for two days before Beale saw it. Prior to accepting directorship in Detroit, Beale pursued his career at Midwestern institutions, serving cities with populations under 400,000. But he's also lived and worked in San Francisco and Los Angeles, locations generally considered culturally advanced. In the Detroit Museum, the work in question was installed for a five-day run last Wednesday in a small room off the beaten path. It was part of a collaboration between its Department of Modern and Contemporary Art and the Museum of Contemporary Art in Pontiac, founded by artist Jeff Bourgeau. The work is part of a 12-week series called Art Until Now, scheduled to run through January 2000 with a different subject each week. The DIA News Magazine for December describes Art Until Now as a series giving the public a sense of the mercurial nature of current art fashion. It was fabricated by Bourgeau. Graham Beale says by canceling this show, he was safeguarding the reputation of the museum and protecting the community from a presentation of volatile subjects that needed more work. I felt that these works were, would be sure to cause widespread offense, deep and widespread offense. One was a piece that used a racial epithet um, in the title, and another one was a piece that had to do with uh, brought together baby Jesus and a condom. You, you can pick on individual works, but alongside that, there were all these lovely, delicate things we want to talk about in public, masturbation, menstruation, urination. Uh, there, was, there was a kind of environment there that I felt the, that I didn't know about that was not going to be very, uh, very uh, good for a healthy dialogue. Healthy dialogue at a museum smack in the midst of an African-American city with a major Christian presence. Beale's decision is supported by key employees in the institution. John Strand is a visual artist whose work is included in the DIA collection. He was surprised to read in the weekend paper of the cancellation of last week's Art Until Now. I think what Jeff Bourgeau was trying to do was educate the trends of, of 20th century art and the 90s is all about shocking people. It's not about, it's not even about art, it's just about shocking people. And I think he was addressing that. S.K. Young is a fine art photographer who has worked at the DIA, as well as Focus Gallery. She says as manager of that gallery, she saw Bourgeau create brilliant multimedia installations. He uses music a lot, but he also speaks to the masses about things that they wouldn't necessarily see or think about. Jeff, myself, and many other artists that do installation work, it's not so much to shock people, but as to say your way of thinking, your belief is not the only belief. Jeff Bourgeau says the closure of his show by the DIA's director does set a precedent, but an unusual one. I'm not sure if it's a precedent in the art community either. Usually when these things happen, they're done by outside forces, usually political, Jesse Helms, or when De Dennis Berry was shut down in Cincinnati. I think it might set a precedent uh, for uh, somebody on the inside to, to have shut down a show. Bourgeau says the whole series was to help people understand what's happening in art now. And he's not sure that all of what's purported to be art is. The purpose of his installation was to explore such questions with the public. And that, he says, is why he was in the gallery every day. Since the cancellation, S.K. Young says she's talked with at least ten artists. Even if Bourgeau's work was objectionable, they wonder, she says, how a challenging work they produce will be received. People are, first of all, angry, second of all, hurt, and third of all, scared. The remaining segments of Art Until Now include Kaboom, the art of destruction with reconstructions, Blimey, Britpop art, and Children's Hour, 100 Years of Children in Art. I'm Kenge Zola.